Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if iTunes has an invalid signature, the download has been removed error that's coming up on your Windows computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start off by opening up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, but we're going to use Google Chrome for today's tutorial. And just type in iTunes download into Google and you want to go ahead just right from the support Apple from the Apple support page and select download iTunes. You want to go ahead and select the one for Windows. So if you're running the 64-bit version of Windows, you're, you're going to want to select the 64-bit download. If you're running a 32-bit, you're going to want to select the 32-bit download. Most of you guys, if you're unsure, are probably running the 64-bit, but I am running a 32-bit machine here, so that's the one I'm going to select and then I'm going to select download. It's about 170 megabytes, so just be patient here. So once it's done downloading, go ahead and just open up the file. Select Run. It should detect that you have a previous installation of iTunes installed on your computer. So we're not reinstalling iTunes here. We're going to be using the repair function that's built into the setup utility. So you see, like I said, there's a repair button here. Reinstall iTunes, replacing missing or damage it files. Before we do this, just make sure that you have a backup of your iTunes saved somewhere to the cloud. If it's possible, I would highly recommend if you had some way of you know having a backup, whether it's on your device or in the cloud or some external drive, you want to make sure you have it somewhere backed up. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and select the repair option and then select next. Okay, so once that's done, select finish, reset your computer, and that should be about it. So, I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.